Hey guys, Ravenclaw here, and as you guys all know, BlizzCon is rocking, rolling, and going strong. So, with BlizzCon, they've released the new patch notes. And guys, there's some really cool things in here, and some not so cool things that nobody really cares about. But we're going to go through it all, starting with the new content. So, Mr. Pandora, they're going to be new timing, time walking dungeons. Not too bad, I like that. Uh, and they're bringing back the Brawler's Guild. I can't talk tonight. Jeez. Uh, bringing back the Brawler's Guild. I really like the Brawler's Guild. I, I used to love, like, when, you, you know, you go there for the party, your party, one of your teammates is in there fighting, you get to stand around, look at it. It was like that fight club underneath, you know, you go past the train tracks and you're underground. It was awesome. Uh, now, what they're doing is you can be, there's a chance that you can be pulled down into the arena with uh, a teammate to fight a raid boss. Not too bad. Along with those new things, you get to get a some new shirts and a uh, new mount. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, before you used to be able to buff your team. You know, you'd you'd ask anyone for a buff, and if they felt like it, they would buff you. Now you can buy the buffs essentially, which is a lot easier, I guess. So you don't have to really wait and rely on other people to buff you up. Um, okay, so the next thing. Micro holidays, micro holidays, guys. Uh, let's let's just read some of these, shall we? I think they're pretty hilarious. So instead of the two-week holidays, they're trying to shorten them and give us more of them. So for example, like Remembrance Day, January twenty-second in Silithus, the citizens of Azeroth will remember the day the gates of AQ were opened. Okay, that's uh, that's something. Good stuff. No achievements or power awards, no mount or pet, but it's something fun and different to do. Excellent. That's just perfect. You get nothing, but you get a holiday on the game. Perfect. That's what everyone wants, isn't it? This one, guys. Volunteer Guard Day. So essentially, you get on when it's up, you can go to any patroller in Stormwind or Orgrimmar, you salute to them and you take their position. Now, what the hell is happening in these capital cities these days? Let's be honest. Everyone in Legion is out leveling tunes, doing raids, and all hanging out in the Broken Isles, whereas the streets of the main cities are just, you know, what is it? The guards, the tumbleweeds, and the lamppost. <laughs> So you go up, you take their job, and what do you do? You just walk around Stormwind or Orgrimmar for about five minutes. Yep, it's all safe here, guys. We've got this covered. I'm sure they'll do something, but when I first read this, I'm like, that's hilarious. Hatching of the Hippogriffs. Oh, this essentially you get to watch Hippogriffs hatch. That's, um, that's cool. Boat Day. It's, it's like Azeroth's Spring Break. Now... I can see this going one of two ways, either crazy or just a flop. Just go out, get some sun on a boat and chill with your friends. Now the RP realms will be going crazy over this. You can just see it right now. Next, revamped arena, Blaze Edge. Blaze Edge is getting a couple of cool upgrades, I would say. It's, it's getting the aesthetics of it, it's getting changed and they're going to have an announcer. That the Ogre King is going to announce it now. I don't know what he's going to say. He's probably just sort of going to like taunt and say stuff. But if he sort of calls out different uh, moves and spells that the people are using, that would actually be pretty cool. And I'm actually looking forward to that. We can see uh, what that comes up with. Um, class changes. So they've collected a lot of data and feedback. And they're looking at improving sort of the, the templates for PvP, PvE, the whole lot again. Again. Okay, so you can uh, look out for that. As we all know, Hunters, we got kicked up the butt with our Viper Sting. Warriors got a heaps hard hit by getting their hamstring put onto the global cooldown. That was nuts. So we can only just imagine what's going to happen with these new improvements, as it were. Um, what else have we got? Rotation <laughs> review. Okay, watch this, guys. Let me just say it to all my Hunter people out there. Can you read it? For example, hunters, we're getting our traps back. 
Thank. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank the lords of Azeroth for getting our traps back. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Uh, Shroud and Concealment, that's for rogues. You know, if you're a rogue watching this, sorry. <laughs> we are looking at um, adding returning utility. Excellent. Because we all know this is what happens. They take it away, they get yelled at, they put it back, and they'll get yelled at again for something else. It's all good. I'm just happy about the traps. Um, okay, looking at making pure mechanical improvements, make playing your class smoother and a more pleasant experience. Perfect. Perfect. So the PTR will be coming up soon, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, hopefully these improvements are actually improvements this time. So everyone out there in PvE land, you're getting a new raid, which is going to be awesome. I'm actually looking forward to it. Now I've gotten into some PvE myself. I'm actually looking forward to some uh, new PvE uh, raid content. Um, continue your class order hall campaign. whoop de doo I've just finished this damn campaign on three hunters, and now we've got to continue it. Oh, man. Do you guys... Now, you guys down below, let me know what you think, but... I hated having to wait to go, all right, now you're going on to your... And they would announce it, right? They'd be like, this is your epic quest. Your epic quest to continue your, you know, your campaign as a hunter or a warrior or whatever. What you must do, it's imperative that you do this. Go up to the mission hall board and send your dudes out on a mission. Then wait eight hours. Do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, oh... Oh my god. So hopefully they make it fun at least. I thought that was just annoying as hell. Because I just wanted to get it finished, you know. But anyway. Blah. Um, okay. So new faction, Army of Legion 4, which is all great because we spend hours and hours and hours grinding rep for about five already known factions. We need another one. Another grind rep. Rep grind. New world quests. <laughs> Including class focused world quests. I think that's pretty cool. Sort of making it more focused around like hunters and warriors and stuff. I think that's that's not too bad. Outdoor questing zone. What? Outdoor questing zone? Isn't every damn quest outside? I don't know. I'm probably reading that wrong. You guys can correct me. I'm sure you will. Uh, Legion assaults will be returning. This is cool. Uh, so as we know, before Legion came, there was an assault on Azeroth. They're bringing that back to the Broken Isles. I think that is epic. I really I really enjoy them. What do you What did you guys think? I think that they were actually pretty fun. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, when they're up, the world quests in the zone are disabled. Once you fight the assault on the ground, there'll be a new feature. You join three player scenario and you take the fight to the Legion ship in the sky. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, uh, what's that? So, <laughs> we are going to get around. How are we going to get around? Here we go, guys. This is my favorite part. Listen closely flying okay so for you guys that haven't started your pathfinder achievement yet at the end of this video i'll be going over um how to start it and what achievements you need to do and everything like that so make sure you stay tuned but before we get to that i've got some pretty cool things to show you okay so now we need to complete the legion hall campaign and stuff like that this is all basically what i'll show you in a sec next one Epic class mounts. They've finally done it. They have finally done it. Paladins, Warlocks, Demon Hunters, anything else? I don't know. Something else, probably. But they've all had class mounts for, well, Demon Hunters since they've started. But, you know, uh, Warlocks and Paladins sure have had theirs for ages. We all get one now. And let me tell you, they look absolutely wicked. So what I've done is I've collected up some images for you guys to have a look at. So sit back and let's go through the slideshow.
What do you think guys? Let me know down below what your opinions are on the new proposed class mounts. Okay, so going, moving on to the, the new raid. So nine boss raid, not too bad. Um, I hope it's something more along the lines. I hope they do something with Illidan. I don't know, I just want Illidan to be part of all this. Um, so as you can see, four main section, it's, it's just sort of outlining the, the new way of the, the new raid. Um, so you got a Jailer type boss, a Naga Root boss, yeah, okay, cool. A Witch Kraken boss, cool. Um, cross between a Pit Lord Infernal and how he's going to break through the wall. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's got to be that Kool Aid thing reference. Has to be. I don't know, it's an American thing. I'm an Australian, but all I can remember is uh, Family Guy where that thing keeps smashing through the wall, going oh yeah or whatever it says. Anyway, moving on. Okay, patch dungeon, climbing spire of the Temple of the Loon, four boss dungeons, pretty cool. Areas, hanging gardens, and cathedral gallery. That's pretty cool. Nothing too thing. Okay, PvP. Here we go. Obviously, new season starts. Awesome. Uh, new mode of PvP. Now, here we go. We've got something cool to talk about. Now, I was watching BlizzCon and stuff like that, and they're proposing making, like, not essentially like RBGs, but massive brawls, which will be cool, but not cool. I don't know. I would have to see how it pans out. So if you can see new mode of PvP gameplay, PvP brawls, similar to Overwatch in Hearthstone. So I can only assume that we'd get put into a room with a whole bunch of destructibles, right? We get to destroy the shit out of everything in that room. The doors will open. We all race to a Hearthstone board, and we play a card game. <laughs> Probably not, obviously, but you could just picture that. All right. Periodic week-long events that are new and different. Okay, cool. I'd, we'd have to see how that panned out. Um, what else we got? <laughs> Look at this. Allows them to change rule sets, experience with new things in the game. Goal is fun. Yes, some things will be wacky, they say. Okay, well, what's fun to them isn't necessarily fun to us, as we've all found out recently. Um, okay, moving on to the artifacts. This is also interesting. They want these artifacts to be around for a long time. Obviously, grow with the character and, you know, be a part of the journey, as it were. New traits, cool. New golden trait, yes. New utility trait, awesome. Now, does that mean... By the time we get to this new traits, that we have to go and grind out a million artifact power. Because at the moment, like, I'm getting towards the end of my thing. I've got to get like 150,000 artifact power or whatever it is. You can only imagine how far you got to go to get these new ones. So hopefully they do something to sort of balance that out. Um, what else have we got? New empowerment, new point in all your three point traits. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, relic changes, new type of relics. Okay, that modify not one, but two traits. That's actually not bad at all. Because I was actually thinking about that the other day. I wish they had something instead of just doing the one that they could sort of pick, like gain benefits from more than like two different, uh, more than one different spell, you know what I mean? 
which is pretty good. Uh, the appearance, a new appearance will be unlocked. That's that's not bad because some of the BM Hunter ones I did not like at all. Hopefully they give you something a bit more, I don't know, snipery. Without a, f I don't like the flared bit at the end. Don't like that at all. I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think. Um, so what else have we got here? Okay, so last thing is they're just updates to the dungeons. Uh, Karazhan upper and lower sections separate in future patch. Okay, so you get to choose to do half and half, I would assume. Heroic and separate mythic keystone run dungeons. Okay. Uh, Arcway and Court of the Stars will also be heroic curable. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. New keystone affixes. Bursting. Mobs explode on death. That reminds me of Diablo so much. Those big, big giant blobby things that would explode and burst into snakes. Those things. That's exactly what that reminds me of. After 7.2, the story and our journey is far from over. The epic tale and epic story coming your way. Yeah, not bad. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Just sort of gives people a bit of a heads up of what's to come and get excited about a few things. Uh, we'll see. Obviously, they might change these because it's already seen it just been talked about. But for those of you that have access to the PTR, be able to jump on there and test it out yourself and then hey let me know what you think okay so lastly with the pathfinding achievement so you guys can unlock flying uh, in the description there is a link to wowhead and it goes through absolutely everything you need to know to get you ready to finish part one of the um, pathfinder i was going to go through it all but after i saw this um, sort of blog it's perfectly laid out and probably could explain it a lot better than I could so head on over there check it out and yeah hopefully you guys can uh, get it all done before you can fly around yeah <laughs> uh, but other than that guys I thought uh, yeah we just have a quick chat about the new 7.1.5. whatever's and uh, yeah if you have any uh, comments leave them down below if you are excited for the new class hall mounts, leave a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you take a lap around the channel, have a look. And if you like what you see, make sure you leave a sub. And other than that, you keep on sniping, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.